you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. We have fought together a wonderful team. We have brought together a great team. We have fought valiantly for our principles, but we did not win. I have called Governor Perry and congratulated him on his victory. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart that all of you who came from so many parts of our great state to support me, to vote for me, to volunteer for me, I couldn't have done it without the incredible grassroots effort that we have been able to do in this campaign. You hosted events, you drove me around, you flew me around, and came to see me on the campaign trail. I want to especially thank President George and Barbara Bush It took so much courage and principle for them to come in behind me because they knew me and I love them. Vice President Cheney, another one. And former Secretary of State Jimmy Baker and Henry Kissinger. I so appreciate their willingness to stand up for someone they knew. I want to thank my campaign chairman, Jim Francis, who is here tonight, our co-chairs, Pat Oxford and Kathy Obriotti green my finance chairman, John Nell, and all of the great campaign staff that worked so hard on my behalf. I will always appreciate your courageous support and tireless efforts. And I want to single out the Farm Bureau. I'll tell you, if you're ever in the trenches, you know, we in Texas know how important agriculture is in our state. I have worked with the Farm Bureau throughout my career in the Senate and in this campaign, and there are no more wonderful, loyal, down-to-earth, good people who will stand on principle no matter the consequences. And I love you guys. Thank you. It has been a long road and a hard-fought campaign, but tonight we fell short. On the campaign trail, I talked about some of the challenges facing our state. I think it is important that we not overlook our challenges and that we come together to make sure that Texas remains what it is today, the greatest state in America. I will work with Governor Perry and our fellow Republicans to keep Texas strong and prosperous for the future. We all must do that. I also congratulate Deborah Medina. She ran a feisty and spirited campaign focused on our conservative principles of limited government and lower taxes. We had a big turnout in our Republican primary today, so the competition attracted voters to our party. A contested primary will naturally leave some hard feelings, but I ask my supporters tonight, all through Texas, to join me and unite behind Governor Perry. That is what will be best for all of us and for Texas. Our party must come together. We must put aside our differences. We must embrace the new people who have come into our party today and work to elect Republican leaders who will lead our state and our nation out of this recession with conservative principles of limited government and fiscal restraint. I thank all of you for working and supporting me for your loyalty. My husband who has stood beside me and missed a lot of events because he was helping so much with our, our home and our children. Now we must unite. We must win Texas for Republicans and our conservative principles in November. Ray and I have both served Texas. We love Texas. I will always do everything I can 
in whatever capacity to protect Texas, our values, our principles, and the greatness and the uniqueness that we are. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.